All right, y'all, this is what an S10 with no shocks and 200 PSI in the tanks look like. Are we going all up at one time or just the front? Just, just, the, just the back. Just the back? Just the back. Ooh, this is going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Scared my dog to death. All right, so uh, today we're going to fix a piece of junk S10. But first, y'all check out this new intro. <laughs> So today we're uh, we're gonna fix our buddy's S10. He bought this thing for like fifteen hundred bucks. Runs and drives, bags, terribly. But uh, he don't know. He went to the No Mercy race with his dad today, so we stole his truck. We done this channel a couple years ago. He he cried pretty hard. He, no, I, no, I did not. He ugly cried in the car. <laughs> we're going to rewire it. Yeah, we're gonna rewire it. So uh, Dan's here. Dawson's here. Uh, we got a stranger right there. His name's Brian. Uh, he's ugly, but we still love him. And he donated us some S10 spindles and his labor. So, rock on. He's actually a homeless guy that showed up in my yard this morning. Yeah, I don't know where he come from, but... Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, no problem. All right, we're going to get started. All right. Bro, how about the water hose? You done took the boat out? Yeah, uh, I got the front one out. For the wire Um... <laughs> I'm going to show them every single bed bolt on this thing There's one. Um, is finger tight. Right. Oh, no, that one's tight. It wasn't going to fall off, but. Huh. There's one tight. One yeah. Right tight. One out of six. But there's only one out of two up here. Oh, so there's, yeah, there's only six. There's supposed to be eight, and one of them was tight. Yeah. Uh, Feels mine didn't fell off and hit some old lady by now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Word of advice. Garden hose is not wire loom. Why are you playing? We're putting that back on there. We're <laughs> talking smack. I'm just surprised that they're fit tight, but they didn't fall out. That one's cross threaded for sure. Oh, well, that's why I didn't fall out. That answers my question. Right. You said there's one up front, bro? Yeah, there's one up there. That's literally the garden hose split in half and you can I've done that. No, I use a hose, not garden hose. At least it's black and blends in. Come at your dream, you gotta watch track. <laughs> Hey, Chandler, zoom in on a little bit of this fabrication right here. All right, so from the side, we oh, got yeah. some uh, some two by two and two by three booger welded to make this. Welded yeah, to make these link bar mounts. Say, whoever built this truck gonna watch this video and be like, screw them, dude, that ain't them. And some fine craftsmanship going on here. I love that there's no cross member at the back of the frame. Look how out of square that is. Alright, so we're gonna check out and see what's up under the hood. Let's see what we got going on. Um, bro, that's an extension cord. That is. That is really an extension cord. That is literally cord. an extension cord. And it came loose. I don't know what this runs to, but it is a ring terminal cut in half. A cut ring terminal. And, and that is an extension cord extension running to the inside of the truck. It really is. Hold on, but y'all missing the important fact. They hook those two wires together, so it's double the power. See, carry more aperture. Genius. 
<laughs> and, it, and the green's on the positive side. We well, might as well just leave that there because ain't none of the wire here gonna be stronger than that. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, so uh, we're about to get this in the background. We're about to rebuild this steering that I uh, showed y'all a while ago. Me and Dan's gonna jump on that. Turn this thing around, see where everybody else is. All right, so uh, Chandler's over here cutting the stock bracket lower four link tabs off. So they're uh, where the two link's gonna be. Uh, Dawson's over here taking the valves, air tank, compressors, and all off. The rallies are on already. Oh, we got removal. All right, jump down. Put the steering back straight first and turn the key off. All right, that boy Jeff Whittington showed up. He brought he brought the wife and kids with him. They all just hanging out, have, making a day out of it. How much more you got to ground? That's gonna be a good dip. Oh. That cut would have definitely saved off some time, though, for sure. There's Courtney. She came out. Oakland in the back, back there. Hey, buddy. Oh, there's another buddy. Hey. She ain't gonna wave at me. Alright, so uh, we got a ball joint that's got a bunch of play. And the boot's gone, so picked him up a new ball joint. If it's a stick that guy in. Man, I use all my flat discs. Everyone. How about you? Alright, so we got the front end back together. Uh, new wheels with the adapters. Had to do a little bit of grinding on the tie rod end to clear. The Chandler wouldn't have bent all the wheels up. They, uh, they wouldn't have needed all that. They are not being lying to y'all. <laughs> um, Brian Dawson and uh, I think Chandler uh, cut all the stuff off the back while we were doing the front. Now it's time to do the fun stuff. We get to fabricate stuff now. This axle to ground down. Got one more weight there to cut off. About got it. Made a mess. Literally everywhere. Jump on him. I'm gonna jump on him if you don't jump on him. Cannonball. There you go. Oh, don't cry, little boo. Hey, what's All right, uh, give us a post lunch update. We're all full. The truck. And we still got a truck to finish. Yeah. <laughs> Makes it a little rough. Full stomach. Especially all the jalapenos on that pizza we just eat. Good. <laughs> yeah, good. All right, so everything's stripped back here, and they had to stop working on it because it was trying to nose off the lift. So they had weight stacked on it. Uh, about to build a cross member, put a two link mm -hmm. in. All right, y'all have at it. I'm going back inside. See y'all. <laughs>
You leaving? I already got to. Too many kids. See you, buddy. Later. Good to meet you, man. Good to meet you, man. Want, want fist bump me? Bye. Can I get a fist bump? Give him some knuckles. <laughs> Come on now. Help him out. Don't leave me hanging. He's got his fist ball. I'm gonna I'm gonna die. You better you better. <laughs> right. How about you? Can I get his knuckles? She said no, I don't like him. Uh oh, there we go. All right, y'all be careful on the way home. Appreciate that. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I ain't taught him to get a top shot. All right, so uh, we're building a two link for this guy. No. We built a front cross member tied into. We got some old rusty two link bars. I promise we're gonna hit them with a flat disc before we put them on the last time. No, we're not. We're gonna spray paint them. Okay. You called us. Yep. All right. So. Chandler, where are you at? Huh? Chandler. Uh, Chandler, why aren't you welding? Uh, you ready? I, hang on. No, hold on. Let me get in your way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else is in the way. <laughs> Oh, that's a new year. Ow, it's still burning. I'm filming. Just boom. Ow, you got my nipple that time. See how dirty I am? Look how dirty she's not. Why aren't you out here getting They watching you struggle in real time. Who oh, yeah. is? Me too. Me too. Stop watching me, YouTube. So this is the two link we come up with. Leftover tabs, leftover two link bar. Found a bolt in the bucket. Pan our bar. It'll work. Kind of. Maybe. It'll work or it won't. Do you have a pan bar on your truck? Yeah. Does it work? It works great. Is it not the only bolt on your truck we've ever found loose? That's it. <laughs> Two times. Drove it all the way to Canton. Got there and was like, hey, the, the bolt the bolt for your panhard bar is laying right there. It was sitting on top of the notch in an open bed floor. Just hanging out. Just hanging out. <laughs> That's a true story. Tell that story again. Huh? Huh? I was trying. What? I was trying. It fell off the couch. It off my head. It was terrible. <laughs> but where'd you get your inspiration from? The cat? My cat. Cat's laying on the couch, got his leg up, licking his own stuff, you know? Yeah, I tried it. I fell off the couch, bumped my head, so. <laughs> That's how you must have cut your leg so bad. Straight to the floor, it's terrible. He really is an asshole, ain't he? <laughs> ah. All right, so, uh, two link. 
literally the most basic thing you can ever do. I bet he puts 200,000 miles on. Probably. Without doing anything to it. Yeah, never. I can attest. All right, so <laughs> we got a few different options for shocks here. We're just trying to figure out which one we're going to use. Uh, I think we're going to use this one, but we don't have any bolts to fit it. And it's uh, about 9 o'clock on a Saturday night. So we're not getting bolts today. Dawson is welding. I've known Dawson for years. I've never seen Dawson weld anything. He Actually, he welded his uh, roof up on the blazer the other day. But I wasn't here. I missed it. So. I used to a lot. All right, so we got them. We got the rudest clap. He does. So uh, has some nicer drop twos on the shelf. Make some bolts, some spacers. Voila. It's just he's an asshole and he can't help it. The buddy dropped the plate at the Mexican restaurant. He said, "Good job." The only person making noise in the whole restaurant. About uh, 10.30 at night. Finally got it together enough to uh, be on the shop here. The front did not lay out before. Looks like it might lay out now. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's still going now. Boy, you ugly. <laughs> hey, that looks tremendously better than the extreme. All right, so uh, it's about 11 o'clock. We've been out here since uh, about 8.30. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a long day. Mm -hmm. What channel are you? Let the hair out. Oh, back to play. Laying the truck out. All right, so we got, let's see, what all did we do today? Um, we put drop spindles on the front. Nothing. Yeah, okay. nothing. Drop spindles on the front. We clearance the front so the bags didn't rub. New airlines. Cut all the old crap away. Throughout the water hose. Throughout the water hose, it was on all the airlines. Got rid of all the airlines. I cut everything off the back and put a two link on it with a pan hard bar. It's actually got shocks on the back. Yeah. What else? Down the front too, right? No. <laughs> we haven't made it that far yet. Um, what else, y'all? The back tires no longer come off the ground. Oh, it's got new wheels. Yeah, Thanks, new Chandler. Wheels. Uh, Chandler donated a set of wheels. Brian, here. That guy. He donated. he donated some drop spindles. Dan bought, uh, what all did you buy a while ago? He bought a center link for the steering. What else? I was there. I don't remember this. No. Uh, Dawson bought oh, the U-Bolts. Dawson bought the U-Bolts. Center That's link. God, we're struggling. Lug nuts. No, Jeff bought the lug nuts. Yeah, Jeff Whittington bought the lug nuts. 
Dan, what'd you buy? Hardware. Uh, ball joint. Ball joint, that's ball it. Joint. You bought a ball joint? What'd you buy? Um, I bought the U-bolts, um, welding wire. You bought a roller welding wire, which is about $50 now. Yeah. Thanks, Joe Biden. Um, I bought some adapters, uh, a bunch of other crap. I don't really remember what all I bought. That, that ain't important. Why'd we do it? Brands. Because we like, because we like Brandon. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, because we didn't want him to die. Because as you seen, the steering was slightly sketchy on that guy. And you hit a bump, and the back tires come off the ground. So yeah. yeah. Oh, hold on, I'm paying the wrong way. Uh, Jose come by today too. He's cheap. He didn't buy nothing. Actually, I don't remember if we bought anything or not. Um, Jeff and Courtney came, brought the kids. Who else was here? That's it. That's it. All right. So uh, as you can tell, man, we're kind of a tight knit little group. We we hang pretty tight. Ain't a bunch of outsiders. Dawson don't like anybody. He was being a real McAsshole earlier. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. I guess we'll get out here tomorrow and finish it. Hope you enjoy it, Brandon. Yes. Day two. Me and Dan's out here getting it. He just went trash fly. Got us a couple bolts we was missing. And I'm tired. You tired? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 15, 16 hours just they kicked our tail. But we're going to get it. Got to build a air tank mount, right, yeah, right in there somewhere, um, and wire it out of here. Okay, it went a lot past wire. <laughs> wow! Holy crap! It went way past wiring. We were like, y'all like just went, like, went off the. Deep we actually end. done everything but wire it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he does. Crazy. For real? For real. <laughs> Dang. What is it? Y'all have like completely like. Uh-uh. Oh, they went, they went, they went way beyond where we, where we were uh, planning to go with this thing. Um, do you notice the wheels? Yeah. That, I, I, I guess that's Chandler getting me, uh, getting me, uh back for uh let me get the wrong wheels for her car <laughs> <laughs> they look good they really do dang and this thing's gonna ride so much better i hope so oh. all right hold on let's pick it up when let's come out here yet other compressor really yeah, yeah he just kind of showed up you were supposed to wait till i text you well nobody told me that <laughs> i figured you're still in bad often uh, come back oh, and it does lay out in the front. And your, ste your steering was slightly dangerous, so. Wow. You still don't have a reverse, though. We didn't fix that. You do that part. Yeah. All right, so we got the brake line mounted. Um, we had these compressor mounts left over before we done Scotty's C10. We couldn't use them. So we modified them a little bit, made the pipe go through them, angled them up, make sure uh, the head of the compressor wasn't close to the ground. Got this uh, new valve block that Rance donated to us. Uh, we hadn't tested it yet. We're going to hope it works. Hope. But we didn't have all the fittings today to try it, so Brandon's going to bring those tomorrow. Air tank's mounted. Everything on it's welded out as far as the suspension. I'm fixing to let Brandon weld all this stuff out. And that'll probably do it for today. I'm going to let him spray paint everything and the way he got a part in it, too. Get over there. Help your man. Get another paint, get another paint can and help your man. What's wrong with don't be holding it in one spot. I don't know how to spray paint, but you gonna be getting on me. This is gold right here. Well, go ahead, man. You come to this side, Brandon. Uh, <laughs> let me let me separate the arguing adults. <laughs> that lives today. <laughs> We're pros at it. We even got a certificate to prove it. What's it say? Marriage? Marriage. Mm -hmm. Not 2019. We've been practicing for a couple years already. We're going to make a real good old cook. Marissa, you're doing it wrong. Golly. Can't 
Can't do nothing. Come out here and get it, man. You do it. Okay. <laughs> Y'all see that? Yeah. 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 All right, so we got all this wiring roughed in. Got the compressors running. The one that he thought was bad is definitely bad. Time for some Vire 485s. Get those mixed up. Rance hooked us up with a valve block. Uh, he didn't know if it worked or not. It's leaking out of the exhaust port. So I'm not sure if that's something that uh, we're gonna be able to clean and make work or if we're gonna have to go back to the old valves, but we're gonna troubleshoot it and see what we can get. Oh no, we're getting there. Valve lock is older than me. Yeah, it probably is. Airbagit.com vintage stock. It's probably older than you too. Thirty years. All right, so it's Tuesday now. Uh, we ran into a couple issues last night. Uh, got it all wired and plumbed, and this valve block. Our buddy Rance donated this. It's been in the shop for a while. He didn't know if it was any good or not. We put it in, it works, but something on the inside is leaking. Uh, we had air coming out of the exhaust port, so that didn't work out. Um, so Brandon called and ordered some Bayer 485 dual pack and a VU4 today, and I had some in stock, so I'm just going to swap him out. Uh, he's going to put these on the day where he can get riding. The new ones will be here in a couple of days to replace these, and... Upgrade. We had to modify the bracket a little bit, drill a couple more holes, and make them a little bigger. They was almost the same size, but not quite. So just made the holes a little bigger. Got some some washers. Today, you get to find out how it rides. Ready for it. All right, we're about to uh, ghetto file wire it real quick so that the compressor to come on and build up air. Um, it's the switch box is wired. Um, we'll make sure we got all the wires run before we start zip tying and cleaning everything up. Um, but it should be on its own area here in just a second. I'm tired, boss. Air that baby up. Center switch. Nah, you can do the front back. Probably do the front first. I'll do the back. Ta da! Y'all know the deal. Me. I can't let it leave here and it be uh, airing itself out. You know, every time he parks it, don't let it out. And we're good though. So we've got the bed back on. Got everything under here cleaned up. Got the new VU4. Vire 485 dual pack. Got a five gallon tank. Uh, we're about to rough in some alignment here. So he can drive his thing home tonight. You excited? Hopefully. Give us the, give us the after comparison. Didn't hit the ground that time. Good. Much better. Hey, it actually lays out now. Good job, sir. Well done. Hey, if anybody close to South Georgia has a extended cab S10 Extreme that's junked out and still has the ground effects on it, get at us. Bonus points if they're blue. Because uh, this was an extreme and they took all that off. And it'd be cool to put it back on. Because these trucks lay out really hard with the extreme body kit on them. All right, sir.
Time for the first drive. What you think? You ready? Looks killer. Looks a lot better with the front end down. The wheels look way better. Than I'm going to stop him right there. <laughs> killer means it looks better than it did. It ain't there yet, but it's going to get there real soon. Because uh, hey. that thing basically has a brand new frame under it, and he's only on it for two weeks. Yeah. So. Hey, it was it was a sure turd when I bought it. Hey, yeah. we're, poli on, we're polishing the turd right now. Jump on the back of the bed, and it doesn't bounce up, and the wheels don't fall through. That part. New dash piece, a little paint and primer, and uh, hey, that dude's in there. I hey, hope y'all enjoyed this video. What you think, Brandon? Yeah? Love it. You happy? Love it. Hey. Good deal. That's what we're trying to do. All right. Well, go drive it and let us know how it drives. I think Junior wants to go ride with you over there. <laughs>